A blessed Wednesday night, mga kapatid. Purihin ng Panginoon sa atin pong midweek prayer watch ngayon pong gabi pong ito. Uh, tayo rin po ngayon ay nagdaraos ng atin pong month, once a month na congregational prayer and fasting. So sana po ay naalala po natin ito at maya-maya po tayo po ay mag-break ng ating pong fasting pagkatapos po ng atin pong prayer watch. Let me read to you, brethren, Psalm number 22. It says here in verse 25 and following, From you comes the theme of my praise in the great assembly. Before those who fear you, I will fulfill my vows. The poor will eat and be satisfied. Those who seek the Lord will praise Him. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth will remember and turn to the Lord. And all the families of the nations will bow down before Him. For dominion belongs to the Lord. And He rules over the nations. Brethren, as we uh, have our prayer watch tonight, let's allow our hearts to be filled with, with who God is. And let's allow our hearts to be filled once more with the knowledge of the Lord so that we may have uh, greater confidence and faith upon our God. Tayo pong lahat ay sabay-sabay na umawit po sa atin pong Panginoon. Oh, no. 
one like you, O Lord. Let us come before the Lord, brethren. Father, thank you for this evening, Lord God, that you have gathered us as the church, O Lord, to Lord to watch and pray, Father God. Salamat po, Panginoon. Lord, we submit our hearts to you, O Lord God. We surrender, O Lord, our cares and our concerns, O Lord, before you. And Father God, as we hear your word, O Lord, we pray that you will bless your word and cause your word, Lord, to prosper in our hearts, giving us, Lord, the strength, the faith, the light, and the truth that we need, Lord, for our journey, Father God. Lord, may you be glorified. May you be given thanks and praise, Lord, in the hearts of everybody. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa matamis po na pangalan ni Jesus. Amen and amen. Tonight po, mga kapatid, itingnan po natin ang isa na naman pong psalm. And tonight, we will be looking at Psalm number 46. It is a psalm written by one of the kings of Judah, King Hezekiah. And it says here in Psalm number 46, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. Tonight po mga kapatid, ang title ng atin pong exhortation ay A Psalm for the Troubled Heart. Okay? A Psalm for the Troubled Heart. The word trouble describes people who are in tight places, who are in a corner and they are unable to get out. It is a situation where it feels like you can do nothing but wait for things to fall apart. Ano po? So that is how it feels when you are uh, how it's like when you are in trouble. You are in a situation where there's nothing that you can do and it seems as if the, the, uh, the only thing you can do is to wait and, and wait for things to fall apart. Ano po? Yun po ang ibig sabihin ng trouble. You are in trouble. No? So, wala kang magawa dun sa situation na yun at uh, parang nagiintay ka na lang na lumala pa yung sitwasyon. Okay? Nagiintay ka na lang na, na pumangit pa. Okay? Pumangit pa at mag-worsen pa yung uh, situation na ito. No? So, you are in trouble. So, a troubled heart means a worried heart. Things are not going smoothly and you are worried or troubled that things might get out of hand or that things will get worse. Ilan po sa inyo, um, you, are, uh, you are actually going through a uh, time of worrying right now, all right? Whatever the reason may be behind that troubled heart, but this is uh, your case. This is your, your state of heart right now. You have a troubled, you have a worried heart, all right? Now, Again, as I've said a while ago, uh, hindi po si David ang sumulat ng psalm na ito. Uh, some Bible teachers say that most likely this was written by one of the kings of Judah, and that is King Hezekiah. At ang historical background ng psalm na po na ito was most likely the deliverance of God upon Jerusalem from their enemy, the Assyrians, all right? which you will find in 2 Kings chapters 18 to 19. So, the background of Psalm number 46 was uh, Judah, all right, was now being attacked by the very same nation or by the very same people that uh, conquered Israel several years ago, all right? So, si King Hezekiah po, on his sixth reign, the king of Assyrians, ang pangalan niya po ay si Shalmana, Shal, Shalmanazer, he was the one who conquered Israel and he was the one responsible for deporting the Israelites. Ano po? Deporting the Israelites. So, siya po ang uh, person, ano? siya po ang person, that's why nasubdue ang Israel. Now, on the 14th year of King Hezekiah, this 
powerful nation, the Assyrians, all right, now has had set its eyes, okay, on Judah. And now the king was Sennacherib. Sennacherib of Assyria now comes to attack the fortified cities of Judah, all right? So the country Judah was now under attack. So again, you know, many many years ago on the on the sixth reign uh, all right of, of of Hezekiah they already conquered Israel the northern kingdom now they are about they are about to conquer Judah they are now attempting to conquer Judah and in fact they were already able to to subdue the fortified some of the fortified cities of Judah so basahin po natin yung second kings chapter 18 the king of assyria sent his supreme commander his chief officer and his field commander with a large army from Lachish to King Hezekiah at Jerusalem. They came up to Jerusalem and stopped at the aqueduct of the upper pool on the road to the washerman's field. The field commander said to them, Tell Hezekiah, this is what the great king, the king of Assyria, says. On what are you basing this confidence of yours? You say you have the counsel and the might for war. But you speak only empty words. On whom are you depending? What do you what that you rebel against me? Look, I know you are depending on Egypt, that splintered reed of a staff which pierces the hand of anyone who leans on it. Such is the Pharaoh king of Egypt to all who depend on him. But if you say to me we are depending on the Lord our God, isn't he the one whose high places and altars Hezekiah removed, saying to Judah and Jerusalem, You must worship before this altar in Jerusalem? Come now, make a bargain with my master, the king of Assyria. I will give you 2,000 horses if you can put riders on them. How can you repulse one officer of the least of my master's officials? even though you are depending on Egypt for chariots and horsemen. Furthermore, have I come to attack and destroy this place without word from the Lord? The Lord himself told me to march against this country and destroy it. So these words coming from the commanders of the king of Assyria were words full of intimidation. They were words full of of ridicule, alright? So, ito po yung trouble na kinakaharap ni Hezekiah and the kingdom of Judah. They were being intimidated with by these commanders, by the king of Assyria, that they do not have sufficient numbers. Kahit bigyan daw sila ng dalawang libong kabayo, wala naman daw silang po pwedeng maisakay dun sa mga kabayong yun. In fact, they even claimed that the Lord that God was on their side and that it was the will of the Lord to march against Jerusalem and to destroy it. These were all just words, okay? But if you heard, ano po? If you heard these words, definitely you will be troubled, okay? You will be troubled. And definitely it affected the whole Judah and of course it affected King Hezekiah. Now, brethren, when we, are, when we are troubled, okay, when we are troubled by our circumstances, by uh, enemies who intimidate us, such as this, meron po tayong mga foes, ano po, at ano po ang gagawin po natin? We are not to fear because we are to remember these three things about God. Remember, in some 46, ang sabi po rito, we will not fear, okay? We will not fear. So, when you are undergoing a troubled heart, ano po, when you have a troubled heart, we are not to fear and we can only do that when we remember these three characteristics about our God, okay? And the first thing is that, number one, the Lord is with us. Amen po. The Lord is with us. It says again in Psalm 46, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. Of course, hindi po ito literal that the earth give way, the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. This is a, a hyperbole, an exaggeration. But what the psalmist wanted to say was, even if the worst things happen, 
we should not fear. Why? Because it says in verse 1, God is our refuge and strength, and He is an ever-present help in trouble. Amen? He is an ever-present help in trouble, which means that God's presence is always with us. God's presence, brethren, is dependable when everything around us seems to be falling apart. That, yun po ang ibig sabihin ng trouble, eh, di po ba? When things, seem, when things seem to be falling apart and you are stuck in a corner, you can't do anything about it, and you're just waiting for things to get chaotic, for things to get worse. That's how it feels when you have a troubled heart. But brethren, we are not to fear. Why? Because God's presence is our ever-reliable help in times of trouble. He is an ever-present help in trouble. All things we should remind ourselves are always in the control of God. At kasama natin po lagi ang Panginoon. Dito po sa psalm na ito, we will find that... Uh, Four times the psalmist reminded the people that God is with them. That one in verse 1, he is an ever-present help in trouble. And in verse 5, the psalmist said, God is within her. She will not fall. And yung her po na yon ay ang Jerusalem. Verse 7, the Lord Almighty is with us. And in verse 11, again, the psalmist said, the Lord Almighty is with us. The God who is Almighty, who is all-powerful, amen? The Lord who is all-powerful, He is with us, amen po? He is with us. Kasama po natin ang Panginoon. I remember what this uh, one author said. Sometimes the Lord calms the storm. But sometimes the Lord lets the storm rage and He calms His child, amen po? Sometimes the Lord calms the storm, but sometimes the Lord allows the storms to rage and the Lord calms His children. Amen? The Lord calms His children. Let's continue Second Kings chapter 19. Anong ginawa po ni Hezekiah when he heard this troubling news and these intimidating words, or these frightening threats, okay, these threats coming from the king of Assyria. When King Hezekiah heard this, he tore his clothes and put on sackcloth and went into the temple of the Lord. When King Hezekiah's officials came to Isaiah, Isaiah said to them, Tell your master, this is what the Lord says. Do not be afraid of what you have heard. Those words with which the underlings of the king of Assyria have blasphemed me. Listen. When he hears a certain report, I will make him want to return to his own country. And there I will have him cut down with the sword. Alright, so Isaiah the prophet responded with a, with a word of encouragement to King Hezekiah when King Hezekiah sought the prophet's word from the Lord. At anong sabi po ni, ni, ng Lord through, through Isaiah? Do not be afraid of what you have heard. Okay? Those words with which the underlings of the king of Assyria have blasphemed me. Brethren, perhaps meron tayong situation sa ating buhay na meron tayong mga words na narinig. Alright? Tulad po ni King Hezekiah. Meron po tayong mga masasakit na salita na narinig. O meron pong ng bully sa atin verbally. Ano po? And anong sinasabi ng Panginoon? Uh, kay King Hezekiah through Isaiah. Those words, ano po, do not be afraid of what you have heard. Do not be afraid of those words. In other words, those are just words. They don't mean anything. All right, because the ultimate uh, one who has the last and the final say to things is always, it is always God. Amen? Kaya po, circumstances may change, but God's covenant with us will never ever change because God's covenant with us is actually forever. Ano po? Yun po ay dahil po kay Christ who is our Savior and our Lord. 
And brethren, that's the first thing we ought to remember when we have a troubled heart. Let us, let us remember that the Lord is with us. He is an ever-present help in trouble. Kasama natin ang Panginoon. The second thing we need to remember about the Lord is that He is our river of life. Amen? The Lord is our river of life. Again, Psalm 46, There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. During this time that Assyria attacked Jerusalem, okay, isa po sa mga uh, pupwede po nilang uh, i-control ay yung flow ng tubig. Ano po? Water was a precious commodity in Palestine, especially in Jerusalem. But since the Assyrians have camped around it, saan sila kukuha ng water? Now, it was uh, a good thing that King Hezekiah built an underground water system. All right? So that there is water in the city coming from the spring outside, okay? And there was water available. So even though their enemies have camped around them, still they are supplied with water, all right? Now, kaya ang sabi po rito, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God. Now, it's not just a literal river coming from the springs of Gihon, okay? But the psalmist, I believe, is referring to the Lord Himself, the river of life, all right? And the Lord Himself makes glad His people when they are troubled in their hearts. So even if there is a trouble, troublesome situation, there is a, a challenging, a difficult situation where we feel stuck, ano po, and we do not know what to do, and yet when the Lord begins to pour forth His Spirit in our hearts. Nagwawala po yung troubled hearts natin. Napapalitan po ito ng gladness. Sabi po rito, a river whose streams make glad the city of God. The psalmist knew that God was their river and provided them with the water of life, making glad their troubled hearts. Brethren, we have a hidden spiritual reserve okay resources and they these hidden resources these hidden reserves they come from the lord in john chapter 7 37 to 39 specifically this refers the rivers of life refer to the holy spirit it says on the last and greatest day of the festival jesus stood and said in a loud voice let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink Whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. By this he meant the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were later to receive. Our troubled hearts will be replaced with the gladness and the joy that comes from the Holy Spirit. Amen po. Our troubled hearts will be replaced by the gladness that comes from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a river of living water, okay? And He is in us. And nandudun na po yun, nandudun na po yung reserves po natin dahil nasa sa atin po ang atin pong, ang banal na spirito. So kahit po we feel stuck in a crisis and yet let us keep remembering that we have hidden reserves. Amen? We have hidden resources. Resources that the world does not know about. It is These are resources that come from the Spirit of God Himself and they refresh and gladden our hearts even when we are troubled. Now, before we go to the last point, let's see what God has done to the situation of Judah and Hezekiah. In Psalm 46 verse 5, it says, God is within her, she will not fall. Now, we know that she there refers to Jerusalem. God will help her at break of day. What happened to Judah and the attack of the Assyrians? In 2 Kings 19, it says here, That night the angel of the Lord went out and put to death 185,000 in the Assyrian camp. When the, lo when the people got up the next morning, okay, yun po yung at the break of day, there were all the dead bodies. So Sennacherib, king of Assyria, broke camp and withdrew. 
he returned to Nineveh and stayed there. Friends, the Lord defeated and disarmed the enemies of Judah, the Assyrians. The Lord destroyed them, their weapons. The Lord killed with his angel 185,000 of the Assyrian enemies. And after that, wala na po silang, they couldn't attack any they couldn't attack anymore. All right? So, Judah was uh, finally they were let alone by these enemies of theirs. Okay? And and the Lord proved himself faithful to the trouble that Judah was going through. In verse 6, Psalm 46 says, Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. Mga kapatid, ito pong mga ginawa ng Panginoon sa Old Testament. These are meant to give us courage and faith in whatever trouble we are going through right now. When we remember the deeds of the Lord in the past, okay, it gives us courage in our own personal lives. Amen? It gives us faith and confidence. As long as we keep on trusting in the Lord, as long as we keep on looking to the Lord, we know that God will be the one to fight our battles for us. When the Lord acts, He acts surely and swiftly. Ano po? He acts surely and swiftly. Napaka the effortless sa Panginoon na tayo po ay kanyang uh, i- i- rescue sa atin pong mga problems. In Psalm 46, it says in verse 8, Come and see what the Lord has done. The desolations He has brought on the earth. So, most likely the psalmist was remembering that when they got up that morning and saw all the 185,000 bodies of the Assyrians, this was probably what he was referring to when he said, Come and see what the Lord has done. In verse 9, it says, He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shield, the shields with fire. So here we will find that the context of Psalm 46 really has something to do with war. Okay, it has something to do with war. And maybe there are wars raging now in our own lives. All right. Or maybe there are uh, wars raging on. Okay, sa atin pong kapaligiran. Ano po? Ngunit ang makakapagpad tigil lamang po nito once and for all ay ang ating Panginoon. So after having witnessed what God has done, Hezekiah now has a stronger confidence and faith in God. He now saw that nothing is really too difficult for the Lord. So brethren, no matter how chaotic the world may be, no matter how chaotic the world may be, God can make wars cease to the ends of the earth in a snap. Okay? And no one will be able to do anything about it. So, nakita po natin that, that uh, the angel of the Lord uh, put to death the Assyrian camp, the Assyrian army. And wala pong kinakailangang the, the uh, people of Judah didn't have to lift a finger because the Lord was the one who fought their battles for them. So now we go to the last point. When we are troubled, we should not fear because the Lord, He is God. Okay? The Lord, He is God. Psalm 46, He says, Be still and know that I am God. So, what we saw uh, in 2 Kings 19, we saw God's power. Alright? We saw God's God's victory. No, po? We, we saw God's sovereignty. So, those words that came from the mouths of the commanders of of the king of Assyria. They were really, really uh, empty. They were meaningless. Ano po? Uh, wala, po silang, wala po silang worth because at the, end of, at the end of it all, it was still it was still going to be God who wins the battle. It says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Be still literally means take your hands off. And relax. Know that I am God. Amen po? So, yun pong ibig sabihin nung be still. No? Take your hands off and learn to relax. Okay? Rest in the Lord. Mag-chill ka sa Panginoon. God is God right at this very moment. Hindi po 
nagbabago ang katotohanan that God is God. So, we have to be still and know. All right? Sometimes we forget. Sometimes we forget that God is God. All right? Hindi po tayo, we're just mere servants. But it is God who is the Lord of all. He is the one who will who will rule and reign forever and ever. He is at work and we are but His servants. Tayo po, we are like uh, we people. Gustong gusto po natin na tayo po ang uh, umaayos ng lahat. Ano po, hands-on tayo sa lahat ng bagay. At wala namang pong mali doon ano po, uh, kapag kailangan po natin gawin yung atin pong part. Alright? But still, alright, uh, we need to learn how to how to uh, entrust things to the Lord. Okay? We need to learn how to entrust things to the Lord. We are to be still, we are to be quiet and trust God to be the one to work in our behalf. We have to entrust to the Lord our situation because we know that God is all wise, God is all powerful. So we have to do our part, but we must leave the outcome to God. We must be still and know that He is God. We must be still and know that He is God. And so we have to leave the outcome to the Lord. As a closing illustration, ano po, alam nyo po itong Psalm 46, kilalang kilala rin po ang Psalm na to as the Psalm that uh, inspired Martin Luther to write the famous hymn, they call it the battle hymn of the Reformation, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. So this psalm was uh, the inspiration, was the basis for this battle cry, battle cry hymn of the Protestants. Now, for just in case you don't know, sino ba si Martin Luther? Martin Luther was an Augustinian monk and a professor of theology. And on October 31, 1517, Martin Luther posted on the doors of the Cathedral of Wittenberg, Germany, 95, the 95 Thesis. All right. At ang ibig sabihin ng thesis, 95 uh, points ano po, uh, na kinakailangan nilang pagdebatihan. Ano po, and Yes, those were actually complaints, all right? That and Martin Luther wanted this these points to be uh to be to be discussed, to be debated on, okay? And those those uh points, 95 points were against the teachings and the practices of the medieval Roman Church. So, because of that event that Martin Luther posted the 95 theses, the 16th century Protestant Reformation was formally born. So, and we owe so much to the Protestant Reformation because of the restoration of the doctrines of the justification of faith, the restoration of uh, the scriptures as the infallible and authoritative word of God. So, basahin ko po sa inyo mga kapatid yung lyrics nitong A Mighty Fortress is Our God. A mighty fortress is our God, a bulwark never failing. A helper he amid the flood of mortal ills prevailing. For still our ancient foe doth seek to work us woe. His craft and power are great, and armed with cruel hate, on earth is not his equal. Did we in our own strength confide? Our striving would be losing. Were not the right man on our side? The man of God's own choosing. Dost ask who that may be. Christ Jesus, it is he. Lord Sabaoth, his name, from age to age the same. And he must win the battle. And though this world with devils filled should threaten to undo us, we will not fear, for God has willed his truth to triumph through us. The prince of darkness grim, we tremble not for him. His rage we can endure, for lo, his doom is sure. One little world, word shall fell him. Napakaganda po ng lyrics nitong A Mighty Fortress is Our God. Again, let me end with a, a beautiful quote from Warren Wearsby. Sabi niya, God does not protect us in order to pamper us or to shelter us. 
God protects us. He is our refuge. He is our strength. So He can strengthen us to go back to life with its duties and dangers. Amen po. So pag tayo po ay shield ni Lord, tayo po ay kanyang pinoprotect. He fills our heart, hearts with gladness instead of fear. He revives us. He calms our fears. He makes us still. And what is the end point of that? So that we will continue to give glory to God by performing, doing the will of the Lord for our lives in spite of, uh, despite the dangers that we are facing, the challenges, the troubles that we are facing. And yet, when we can continue and we can face all of these things by faith, trusting in the Lord, then the Lord will continue to show His mighty power at work, fighting our battles on our behalf. Just like King Hezekiah who trusted the Lord and, and Judah won that victory. Just like Martin Luther who trusted in the Lord and the Protestant Reformation was born. So ito po mga kapatid ang atin pong psalm for tonight. Psalm number 46, a psalm for the troubled heart. Again, what do we remember about the Lord when we are fearful? Remember that the Lord is an ever-present help in trouble. He is always with us. Amen? Second, let us remember that the Lord is our river of life. He will always be our hidden resource. When we are fearful, He is the one who will revive us and fill us with gladness, with peace, and with His joy. And lastly, that the Lord is our God. We have to be still, therefore, and know that God is is always God. Sa oras po na to, tayo po ay umawit muna sa Panginoon bago po tayo pumasok sa ating pong panahon ng intercession. Here is love as the ocean, loving kindness as the flow, when the grace of life are ransomed, shed for us His precious love. Who His love will not remember, who can cease to see His grace. Yes. 
Tonight, brethren, we will only be interceding for a few prayer concerns. Una-una, let's pray po para po sa ating kapatid na nasa ospital po ngayon, si Brother Resty. Nabalitaan po nating lahat na siya po ay inasthma at uh, muntik po siyang uh, malagutan ng hininga dahil bumaba ng bumaba po yung kanyang oxygen level. So na- ngayon po ay nakakonfine pa rin po si Brother Resty. So tayo pong lahat ay manalangin po para sa kanya. And then, uh, next week na po ang atin pong elections on May 9. So, ipanalangin po natin ang uh, elections po natin. Napaka laki po ng at stake all right, sa atin pong elections. At ipagdasal po natin mabuting-mabuti ang atin pong uh, mga iboboto. Ano po, hingin po natin ang liwanag at ang guidance ng banal na spirito at ng kanya pong mga salita sa atin pong pagboto. And lastly, pag-pray po natin ang atin pong church. Pag-pray po natin ang ating apologetics class on May 21. May topic na po tayo, Defending the Bible's Authenticity and Infallibility. Let's also come to the Lord. Uh, let's pray for the third year anniversary of our, our outreach in Bayambang. And then, uh, magkakaroon po ng general gathering ang atin pong Priscilla Women sa, May, uh, sa June 4, Saturday. So, pag-pray po natin ang mga bagay na ito. Let's come before the Lord. Our loving Heavenly Father, salamat po sa gabi pong ito, Lord, na kami po ay makakadulog sa inyo sa panalangin. Father God, we have a lot of things going on, Lord, in our, in our lives. Lord God, in our uh, careers, Lord, in our workplaces, our families, and Lord, many things are happening, Lord God, in our own country, and even in this world. But we thank you, Lord, for this, uh, Lord, this great psalm that you've given to us. Salamat po, Panginoon, na this psalm was born out of a, Lord, out of a great uh, crisis, Lord, of threatening circumstances, Lord God, in the life of your people back in the past. Salamat po, Panginoon, that even if we are faced with threatening circumstances, and yet, Lord, we can always sing that, the, that God is our mighty fortress, our refuge, our strength, and an ever-present help in trouble. Salamat po, Panginoon. And Lord, we pray, Father God, that Kung meron po kami mga kapatid na sa mga sandaling ito, Lord, are having a troubled heart. Indeed, we pray that your word will be the fuel for our faith and may we always be filled, O God, with confidence through the, confidence through the knowledge of God. We pray, Father God, that we may always remember that Jesus Christ is our victory. He is our banner of victory, Lord. You have already won the victory on the cross, O oh Lord God, you have already been raised from the dead, Lord Jesus, after three days. And we are no longer fighting for victory, but we are already, Lord, walking in this journey, Lord God, from the victory of our Lord Jesus. Nawa, Panginoon, ay lagi po namin itong isa puso at ito ay magbigay sa amin lagi, Panginoon, ng, ng Lord God, ng certainty. Panginoon at ng faith, O oh God, that, Lord, everything is going to turn out exactly how you planned it to be. Salamat, Panginoon. Lord, we take this time to pray for our dearest brother. Panginoon, we commit to you, brother Resty. Panginoon, dinadalangin namin, Lord God, na pagalingin niyo po ang kanyang asthma. 
Lord, dalangin namin, Lord God, na iligtas niyo po siya, Lord Jesus, sa kapahamakan. Dalangin po namin, Lord, na siya po, Panginoon, ay inyo pong pagalingin, O Diyos. At Lord, O God, dalangin po namin, Lord God, na Lord God, na sa mga sandali pong ito, Lord, kayo po'y kumilos sa puso po ni Brother Resty. Dalangin namin, Lord God, na ang sitwasyong ito, Lord, ay magdala sa kanya, Panginoon, ng mas, na dali ng sitwasyong ito si Brother Resty, Lord, sa mas malapit, Panginoon, O Lord God, na relasyon po sa inyo, O Jesus. Salamat po. Dalangin namin, Lord God, na huwag niyo pong hayaan, Lord God, na na Lord na siya po ay uh, magworsen but we really pray Lord for his healing we really pray Father God for his recovery tulungan niyo po siya Lord God at nawa Panginoon ay kayo po Panginoon ang kanyang Lord makita sa sitwasyong ito at makita niya Panginoon oh Lord ang inyong pag-ibig at ang inyong pong pagmamahal ang inyong pong kadakilaan ang inyong pong kabutihan sa kanyang buhay oh Dios We pray for Brother Resty, Lord God, that you will indeed continue, Lord God, to finish the good work that you've begun in his life. Please also bless his family, Lord. We pray for Ross, his son, for Patricia, Lord, his apo, and his whole family, Panginoon, na sa mga sandaling ito, Lord, ay magkaisa po sila, Panginoon. Salamat po, Father God. And Lord, tinataas rin po namin, Lord, ang aming pong elections next week, Father in heaven. Father God, we are, O oh Lord, thankful that we can be still and know that you are God and you are the one who makes wars to cease to the ends of the earth and that you and only you, Lord, will be exalted, Father God. Panginoon, O oh Lord, we do not know, Lord God, what is going to happen, O oh Lord. Father God, some of us have troubled hearts. Some of us, O oh Lord, have worried hearts. Lord, not knowing what is going to be, Lord God, the result of the elections, O oh Lord, and not what will be, Lord God, the effect upon our nation. And Father God, ngunit kami, Panginoon, O oh Lord, ay patuloy po na nananampalataya. Nagtatiwala, Panginoon, O oh Lord, na kayo po, O oh Jesus, ang siyang sovereign sa lahat. Nagpapasalamat po kami, Panginoon, dahil, Lord, we've prayed for these, elect these elections, Lord God. Father in heaven, Lord, and we trust, O Lord, that you have heard our cries and that you indeed, O Lord, in your perfect wisdom, O Lord God, in your mercy and in your love, O Lord, will indeed, O Lord, grant the Philippines, O Lord God, its need for good leaders, its need, O Lord God, for, Lord, leaders who fear your name, leaders, O Lord God, Lord, who truly carry in their hearts, O Lord, the love and the compassion, O Lord, for the Filipino people. Naniniwala po kami, Panginoon, O Lord God, na bibigyan niyo po kami ng mga pinuno, O Jesus, na tapat sa inyo at magiging tapat po sa taong bayan, Panginoon. Ngayon pa lang, Lord God, ay nagpapasalamat na po kami dahil alam namin, Panginoon, O God, that you always have, O Lord God, you always know what is best, Panginoon, and help us, O Lord, to truly trust you, Help us, O oh Lord God, to truly believe, O oh Lord, that through our God, O oh Lord, we will continue, Lord, to do valiantly, O oh Lord God, in this life. Salamat po, Panginoon, Lord. We bless and praise your most holy name. We continue to commit to you, Lord, Komelek. We continue to commit to you, Lord God, the day of the elections, that it will be peaceful. We pray, Father God, na magiging uh, kalmado po ang lahat. Lord God, magiging maayos po ang pagpapatakbo ng lahat ng elections, Lord God. Dalangin namin, Lord, na maghahari po kayo, Panginoon, sa kabuuan po ng aming pong halalan sa lunes, Panginoon. At sa magiging results po nito, dalangin po namin, Lord, na hawakan niyo po ang puso naming mga Pilipino. Hawakan niyo po ang puso naming lahat na tunay nga, Panginoon, O Lord God, ay... Lord, ay, ay maging united po kami, Panginoon, O God, as a people. Salamat po, O Jesus. Father God, in-offered po, po namin sa inyo, ro Lord, ang role ng inyong church, ng inyong body, sa mga panahong ito, lalong-lalo na sa aming bansa. We pray, Father in heaven, that you will continue to use the church as salt and light and help us, Father in heaven, to always preach the word. Help us, Father in heaven, to be faithful 
in declaring, O Lord, what is righteous and true, O God. Help us to be faithful in declaring, O Lord God, that Jesus Christ alone is the hope of glory. We pray, Father in heaven, na patuloy po ninyong isulong, Panginoon, ang inyo pong salita, ang inyo pong ebanghelyo sa aming pong bansa, Panginoon. Knowing, Lord God, that only Christ is the absolute answer and the need of each and every Filipino. Salamat, salamat po, Panginoon. Lastly, salamat, Panginoon, sa inyo pong grace, sa aming pong church. We thank you, Lord, for your bountiful blessing upon gospel of grace. Thank you, Lord, for the members, Lord God, our, our brethren, whom you continue, Lord, to anoint, to bless with your grace so that we may continue to grow, O Lord, in the knowledge and grace of Christ. Salamat, salamat, Panginoon, sa nakikita po naming pag babago, pagpapatuloy, pagpapalagunin nyo sa lahat ng mga kapatira namin. Tunay nga, Lord, we continue to expect great things, O Lord, from God, according to the power that works within us. Continue to bless, O Lord, the ministry of gospel of grace. Continue to bless, O Lord God, Father in heaven, your work amongst your people. Tinataas namin, Lord, ang third anniversary po ng outreach po ng Bayambang. Tinataas po namin ang apologetics class namin sa May 21. Tinataas po namin ang aming pong Priscilla gathering, Lord, on June 4. At tinataas din po namin, Lord, ang aming mga Sunday, ang aming pong Sunday service ngayon pong darating po na linggo. Salamat po, Panginoon, muli sa inyo pong katapatan. Maingat po namin, Lord God, na sa inyo lamang po ibinabalik ang lahat ng pasasalamat at at lahat ng pagpupuri, Panginoon. Kayo po, Panginoon, O God, ang siyang patuloy na kumilos lamang, Lord God, sa inyo pong mga anak. Maraming marami pong salamat sa gabi pong ito at kami po ay tinaguyod ninyo, Lord, sa aming panahon ng pagfafast at kami po, Lord, ay pinalakas nyo lamang ng inyong mga salita. Kayo po, Panginoon, O Lord God, ang patuloy, Lord God, na magpuno sa puso ng bawat isa ng inyo pong, Lord, ng inyong mayamang biyaya at ng inyo pong presensya. We thank you, Lord, for how you have revived us tonight, for how you have, Lord, made our hearts glad tonight, O Lord, by the presence of the Holy Spirit in our hearts. Thank you so much. You are our life, Lord. You are our joy, O God. You are our ever-present help in trouble, O Lord. Thank you, Father, and we shall be still and know that you are always God. Thank you, Father God, in the most holy, precious, and sweet name of Christ. This is our prayer. Amen and amen. Good evening brothers and sisters uh, Magandang gabi po sa ating lahat Salamat sa Panginoon Sa ating pong prayer watch ngayon pong gabi po nito God bless you po Kita-kita po tayo sa linggo Sa ating pong Sunday worship service Good night and God bless you